I'm going to show you how to draw and memorize the brachial plexus in 60 seconds. So we know the nerve roots stem from C5 to T1, and there's five components. Remember to drink cold beer. Roots, trunks, divisions, cords, branches. Now let's get into it. First, we're going to draw two peaks, followed by three horizontal lines. Okay? Then under the D, we're going to draw an X and a slash, because at the dark, dingy bowling alley, we want strikes first and spares second. Then at B, or the beach, we're going to draw some waves. Two short waves and one long wave. How do you remember the long wave? Well, the long wave comes from the lateral cord. Then we're going to use the mnemonic MARMU for our terminal branches. Musculocutaneous, auxiliary, radial, median, and ulnar. Finally, under our chords, we're going to follow this. One for our first chord, two for our second chord, and three for our third. At the lateral chord, it starts with an L, lateral pectoral. Our medial chord branches start with an M, medial pectoral, medial brachiocutaneous, medial antibrachiocutaneous. Then here, I purposely draw this one longer because we have an upper subscapular, lower subscapular, and thoracodorsal, dorsal posterior back, that's our posterior chord. And then finally, for our last branches, we look at C5. C5 means on the top branch, we need five branches. So we have one here for lateral pectoral, and we need four more. So dorsal scapular, supraclavicular, subclavius, and then a long one conveniently called the long thoracic. There you have it.